this trackpad here refuses to work. It doesn't respond at all. The pointer doesn't move. Right-click doesn't work. Nothing. It just freezes up. So it's not like it never works. Sometimes it comes on, and sometimes it just freezes up like that. So this is actually a problem. It's not really from the machine itself. It's just a Windows driver that's missing, and you need to install it to get it working perfectly. Now, if I go ahead and install a standard mouse, you can see that it's working. Sorry, I meant a standard keyboard and mouse. You can see that both are working perfectly. But if you want to use the trackpad, it doesn't work. And it's not only the trackpad. Sometimes the mouse and keyboard also don't respond at all. See, that's the pointer there. But it doesn't move. So what you do is, you have to right-click on this PC, go to Manage, and then go to Device Manager. OK. Then you expand Mice and Other Pointing Devices. Expand that section, yeah, this one right here. Now, you might want to download the latest drivers for this one. MS Box Touchpad. OK. So you have to download it. Or you can go ahead and delete the driver from the system. But make sure you reconnect to the Internet afterward. Then you click Search Automatically for Drivers. And that can also fix the problem for you. Or you can just go online, search for your laptop's model number, and download the specific driver. Alternatively, you can go to Settings, then Update and Security, and update your machine. That can also help fix the problem. So yeah, you have to update all the drivers here, and that should fix the issue. But if you really want to fix the problem as fast as possible, I've already downloaded the software for that because I've had this issue with these machines for quite some time. So I already have the driver ready. I'll just go ahead and install the driver now and see if that fixes the problem. Okay, so as you can see, the touch drivers are right there. Yeah, so that's the driver we want. Click Next, accept the terms and conditions, then click Next again, and just go ahead and start installing the drivers. Okay, let's see if it works. Nope, still not working. This one's supposed to fix the problem. Okay, but let's wait. I think it's still installing. Yeah, it's still installing. It hasn't finished installing the drivers yet. So let's just wait till it completes. Okay, so it should finish when... Yeah, now it's done. And I'm sure it should work now. Okay, now the problem is fixed. That's how simple it is to fix the freezing issue on the HP 250 series laptop. So that's it. That's how simple. Now I've removed the external mouse and everything works fine. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more content like this. Thanks.